It's about 6.20 in the morning. The light's just starting to peek up over the horizon. It's not quite bright enough to move the birds yet, but I think in 10, 15 minutes it may be. We're trying to decide if we're gonna move the birds this morning. Um, I'm gonna be, I have some stuff to do after work the next few days, so I'm not gonna be able to move them before it gets dark, and I really don't want Lace to have to deal with it, so we're gonna wait another 10 minutes or so. If it gets light enough, we'll go ahead and try to move them, and uh, we'll just kinda hope that everything goes okay and won't have any problems before I leave for work this morning. It's a bit chilly this morning, it's in the 30s. I don't know if you can see my breath. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna head inside where it's 80 degrees. All right, it's 6.40. Um, it looks like it's about light enough. I'm gonna go do the laying hens first because they'll be a little easier to deal with. Um, it looks like it's light enough though. Um, I'm just gonna be crunched for time a little bit. I like to leave about seven o'clock, but if I need to, I can leave by, as long as I'm out by 7.15, I should be okay uh, to get to work on time, but we'll just see. As long as nothing goes wrong, I think we'll be okay. Well, it's 7.10, that kind of makes me running a little bit late, but I should be okay for today, and then I think I can still get out here about 10 minutes earlier tomorrow and Thursday, so everything looks okay for now. Lace will come out at lunchtime and fill up the feeders and check the waters like normal, and then um, I might just ask her to do that a little bit later in the afternoon since I won't be home to feed them before it gets dark. So we'll double check on that. Otherwise, that's all I got for this morning. We'll see you this afternoon, this evening maybe. All right, peace out. All right, well, I am home for the day. I stopped and got the feed, and so we picked up a ton of feed. So I need to uh, unload that, and then Lace did top everyone's feed and water off for me. So I'm just going to make a quick round after that and make sure everyone's tucked in nice for the night. All right, the objective is quite simple. We're gonna take those 40 bags of feed and we're gonna stack them on this pallet. Sounds pretty fun. All right, I'm gonna time myself. I think I can get it done in 15 minutes. We'll see. Here we go.
It only took me 10 minutes and 35 seconds. So that's pretty good. Well, I'm a little, <clears throat> I'm a little out of breath. That's 40 bags, 50 pounds, 2,000 pounds. That was a good workout. So, anyway. All right, so our feed right now, it comes from Texas Legacy Feeds out of Elmont. It's a non-GMO feed, and they mill it fresh. Like, they were bagging it up as I got there. So, we're happy that we get some pretty good fresh feed at the moment. So, this is their logo. They ran out of fancy bags. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Check on everybody, I guess. I guess we'll check on these chicks since we're here. They look good. <laughs> like so I'm glad that feed worked out good today. I've been kind of bad about correctly planning how much feed I need for the broilers and when, and I always seem to be cutting it close, but I just emptied the last bag of the previous batch of feed, and so, uh, the timing worked out pretty good. Um, they had actually called me last week to let me know that they were gonna be on break next week so they weren't gonna be able to do feed. And I was actually kind of thinking of getting feed next week, but I'm glad they called. I got feed, I actually got two tons, so that was the first ton. I gotta go pick up the second ton on Friday. And I'm hoping that those two tons last me for the rest of the uh, broiler season. I only got about three and a half more weeks and I think that will be plenty I hope it's gonna be plenty to finish them off and then I'll have a little leftover to um, raise those hens on because they're still gonna be on a starter ration for um, a little bit here. All right, we're gonna go lock the hens up. Lace already got eggs and stuff, so we just need to close them up for the night. Looks like somebody broke down earlier. The kids said they ran out of juice earlier helping with chores, so they had to charge their battery. We haven't had too much of an issue with this lately, but you know, there's not a perfect cage, and one of the bad things, I guess, about this cage is that the front and back bar are actually raised up off the ground a little bit, and you can see if they sleep up here, something could uh, reach under here and grab them. So like a raccoon or a possum or a, I don't know if a skunk would do it. I guess a skunk could do it. Anyway, so they recommend actually putting a board in front and in back um, to prevent that, but we stopped doing that. And it basically initially because we were lazy and it just, it's like, it's, it's one more thing to deal with every day. And it was a pain in the butt and we really haven't had any problems with it so we just stopped putting a board there and we've kind of risked it but it really hasn't been a problem um, I really think having a dog helps because she comes out here with with us when we do the chores and circles around and she goes you know to the bathroom what have you and I think that helps quite a bit but it's also good just to come out every once in a while and like this and if they're sleeping up here by the front to kick them back to, uh, it's better that they sleep on the back even though there's a gap there than on the front because the, the critters can see them up here. They can't see them on the back because of that panel. Alright, well that's going to end it for the night. I think uh, everything went well. We got the feed. We got the birds moved in the morning. I think that's going to work out well if I just get out here a little bit earlier. And uh, we'll do that the next, the rest of this week. Next week should be good because we, because uh, I have off, so it doesn't matter. I don't even have to get up that early to do it. And yeah, that's what I got. This is our cat, Henry. I think he's hungry. Are you hungry, Henry? <laughs> he's hungry. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate uh, you watching and liking it and making comments. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you later. All right, bye-bye.